We've got look at you. Two, uh, look at you. Who are... How far does it go? Brian Powell, uh, Iron Fire? Uh, 0.63 miles for the kids' race. Oh, nice. The kids so it's yeah. actually a K. More or less, yeah, yeah. All right, going out onto the course. They run some really technical trails coming down. Starts with a big four or five mile climb. Then there's some four wheel Jeep roads. But then technical slick rock descent. Big rock steps, you gotta use your hands to climb down cliffs. You get a cool mix here. Still got some fall colors out here. Nice. So this is a small section of road on the half marathon course. You come up this uh, around the 10 mile mark, but look at how curvy it is. Way steeper than it looks. It's really steep switchbacks, it's pretty cool. Man, I wish I was in this race now. Here's the split, full marathon, half marathon. Coming down off of this, the aid station is. Some cool rocks here. Part of the course coming down. Really neat. Thanks for being out here. It's a great aid station here. <laughs> What's your name? Matt. Matt, Matt Sage. Sage. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah. Here. yeah. Looks good. Thanks for being out here. It's a great aid station here. Lots of food. Yeah, this would be great. No shortage of bananas. Yeah, those are key. So they come down off this hill here, way up somewhere in those rocks. This part's kind of technical here. You can see, this is really good. You can see, when they come down this rock here, this is steeper than it looks on film. This is a technical part, huh? Out double checking the course markings. The cliff there. Oh yeah, this part. Key course marking here. It's definitely a, a cliff here. <laughs> you go this way and down. Beautiful section. A little bit. Okay. Here we go. Oh there's Megan right there. Oh hey. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. See them coming down there? It's a treacherous part. Good job. Good job. Keep it going. Good work. Good job, Mario. Nice pace, dude. Looking good. Keep it going. Fast young dudes. Yeah. Now you're doing awesome. Keep it up. Go, good job. Keep it up, Gavin. Nice work. Good job. Going. Good job, Renee. Good job. Good job. Good job, guys. Good job, Mario. Good job. Good job, Gavin. You go. Good job, keep it up. Keep going. You got a big climb about a mile up to the top of that hill. Good job, keep it up. Good work. Nice job. Good job, Josh, keep it up. Down the trail, there you go. Good job, man. Good job. Keep it up. Good job, Sandy.
Yeah. Oh, they got a bridge. Yeah. That's nice. We've yeah. done this before where we just swim across. It was April, but... <laughs> I feel like I swam across last year. All right, Josh, come Good this job, way. Josh. Oh, okay. Is, is Justin right. right behind you? I'll send you the wrong way. <laughs> Good job, Josh. I saw him a bit ago. <laughs> Way to go. Keep it up. Good work. Eight stations right up there. All right, Sandy. Good job, Renee. Keep it up. Good work. Third of a mile. Third of a mile left. See at the finish line. Good job, Renee. Good job, Sandy. In fourth place, Anna Dalton. You hear Anna? Coming up, Anna. Oh, there you are. In third place, Michelle Hummel. You might need those. Second place, run up in a time of 4.08.57. Sandy Nightpaper, come on up. Yes, and your winner, hailing from Bend, Oregon. She's fast on the roads in the marathon, and now she's fast on the trails. Renee. It's master's money. She's strong. We probably ran All right, Chris. Chris, how many master's national championships do you have? Oh, that would be seven, I think. Seven. Well done, Chris. All right, moving on. Ninth place, Anthony G. Anthony Dunkel. You hear it, ninth place. Eighth place. Hailing from right here in Moab, Utah, and winner of the 2011 Eugene Marathon is Justin Riggs. Justin. Justin also puts on events with Mad Beast. Oh. All right, in seventh place, Gavin Combs. Gavin, come on up, seventh place. Gavin, you here? In eighth place, I think he had to leave. In eighth place is the uh, head of the Western State Congrats. Colorado University program and also a Matt, member of the U.S. Mountain Running team, Josh uh, yeah, Everly. I know. I know. Put your hands together for Josh Everly, sixth place. Uh, yeah. I think he had to go. Interesting. Fifth place, yeah, Jason Murphy. Yeah. Fourth place, Jeff Colt. Come on up. In third place, finishing a time of 3.23.27, Patrick Parcells. In second place, Anthony Castales. Anthony. In the winner of today's race, had to run. He had a, a plane to catch. But uh, the winner of the race, who has won this race in the past, who's been on seven U.S. world teams, Four national championships, Mario Mendoza. 